Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So basically I filmed a vlog yesterday and realised that it didn't quite make sense just on its own. So I wanted to do this little intro just to explain what happened, why I decided to do it and basically what's going on because there's a lot of things which I didn't get round to explaining yesterday, I just filmed it as it was happening. So just in this little clip here I'm going to explain and then we'll actually get on to the more exciting vlog and what happened yesterday and what's going on now. So basically I decided to move the outdoor guinea pigs into this room. The issue though that I had is that the problem is like Roxy and like Oreo as well, like they are quite small guinea pigs and to stay outside over winter is not really an option. The only alternative I could come up with is to overwinter the guinea pigs indoors, all of them, like you know in years to come as well and move them back out in the spring and summer so they kind of get the best of both worlds really. So that's the decision I came to. The forecast has been really bad for the upcoming week so I decided it would be a great time to do it before they're stuck out in this horrible weather and I just decided to go for it and I'm really happy I did so currently bonding them now. So providing that this continues to go well and that I can bond them all properly before Saturday then I will probably take all these guys to the show with me so I just feel like that would be a really great thing to do. I know a lot of you guys would want to see all of them and now I have that option because they won't be going back out in the cold. So providing that they're bonded nicely and they're not going to get too upset and disturbed by all the changes, I think it would be amazing to take them and just be really nice to set up a really big natural enclosure for them to show other people how to like create a natural habitat. So that's my plan. I'm hoping that will work but obviously I've got to think things through first because it's quite a lot to consider. They're currently on wood pellets as well and it's working so well for them. I mean, this is overnight that I clean them. Normally it's way more messy than this, but they've done so well and they've basically done everything in here, which I'm proud of them for. You okay? I actually cut all the guinea pigs nails yesterday. Finally got it done and I'm so glad I have because it's just like, you know, one of them things out of the way and done with. So they all did really well actually. Um, so I'm proud of them for that. Yeah. You're all good, weren't you? Oh, lovely, you left me a pile of poop up there. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh, I did the boy's nails as well yesterday. I mean, I did what I could because they are fidgety and you can only do like one foot a day because they're literally so light fidgety. Um, there's your hay rack. <laughs> they love it because they can sit on the shelf and eat out of there, which is nice. They also can sit in the little tray and eat out of there. So it actually works really well. Why do you always have to steal the one he's eating? You're so mean. Look, there's two. What did we get you once we were out, Winnie? It's a new Nyla bone. <laughs> you can help me open it, but don't break my hand on. No. Oh. You gonna... Is he sat down? Yep. <laughs> I take it that went down well. Oh, he loves it. He loves his new bone. I'm not sure how to hold it. Oh no, he's a bit to hold it. He can he hold can't it. it. Oh, he oh, needs a bit of a challenge. Look how many oh, look how many normal bones he's got. He needs a bit of a challenge. So we just got back from shopping and I thought I would show you a few things which we picked up. So we actually had a really nice lunch. We went to Morrison's and they had like this massive selection of like vegan salads and stuff. Um yeah. Oh. Enough, yeah, that's enough. Have we filled it to the max? No, I think we can get more in. Can we? Well, top yours up. Yours is a good one. Double pasta. No. Mm -hmm. That's enough. That's enough. I'm just going to blob on that one. Um, Bino's trying to jump on my knee right now. In fact, they both are, because I think they're getting fed. So... I've like basically just got a few bits for the show. So I've got like this nice little natural wooden platform. Um, I just thought this would look really good with like the whole natural setup. So that's kind of what I'm thinking of doing. <laughs> you kind of come up. Hi. <laughs> so this is, oh, they're so cute. They're climbing on me. 
Um, so this is the first thing which I got. Hello. Hi. And we also got... I also got this, which is like a little... Um, it's basically like Sooty's bowl, but a bigger version. So I'm going to also use that in one of the cages to sort of demonstrate my food. Not demonstrate my food, that sounds so weird, but to um, have my food on display. So sort of hooks onto the cages. <laughs> what is he doing? Like, let's show for example, it goes like that. Yeah. So that's like, I don't know. It was something pooing in the bowl and being embarrassing. <laughs> the things I got, I also got like, a lot of this tape again you guys know how much I love this on my packages and that's about it for the range but the other day in fact it was quite a while ago now I bought these off let's see um it's from the Vale, vale Wildlife Hospital and Rehabilitation Centre and um, they have like I think it's an eBay account so these are basically just heat pads which I got for the skinny pigs um, probably don't need them anymore seeing as this room's super like warm but it's always good you know in case something happens the electricity goes down we don't have any heat pads because the ones I've got actually stopped working I don't know how a heat pad can stop working but they've stopped working so who knows what happened there but um <laughs> oh it's so cute so these are the heat pads and like I say, it's from this rehabilitation centre and I'm pretty sure that the funds go to that. I'll try and link them back down below if I can find them again. Will you stop eating the paper? Thanks. Um, so, oh, there we go. Um, I actually love these because often the ones in the pet shops are like circular, but I much prefer them being this shape. I think they're a lot better like that actually. There we go. There are the new heat pads. I've just moved the outdoor guinea pigs into the inside room and um, they've actually been so chilled I've literally just moved them in so I haven't put the hay rack in yet but um, that's my next job put hay rack and water in there and um, the skinny pigs are quite unsettled which to be honest is to be expected they've still been chewing this to take out their frustration but obviously there's more girls around now so it may in the beginning cause some upsets but I'm hoping they'll settle down you know once I've got them settled they have got their hay up there by the way I need to move that over there um, I've covered this over with a towel just so they can't see them it kind of blocks out the view because they were getting a bit frustrated by that and um, honestly these guys have just settled in straight away and um, they've all been washing each other it's hilarious and <laughs> the why do you keep tea chatting are you hungry darling I'll go get you some hay I think they're probably just quite glad to finally be in a warm environment again but obviously the, there's a lot of new things, new surroundings, new guinea pigs, new smells, everything is different so it's going to cause some upsets in the beginning. Oh Bonnie and TK, Bonnie's like hang on I remember you, I'm pretty sure they remember each other to be fair. She's not even bothering rumble straight but oh Bramley, that's Miffy. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see how the dynamics change again, obviously, being separate for a while. Things are going to change. Unsettled pigs in the meantime, but you know, giving it time, giving them time, they will settle. But yeah, I'm going to go get some hay for them now before <laughs> they get mad at each other from being too hungry. They seem to be a little bit more settled now, I've topped up the hay racks and they just seem to have something to, you know, occupy their minds with rather than the situation that's going on, so that's really good. We had something very unexpected happen and I didn't catch it on video, basically, I mean, I didn't have these two grids here at the time, the um, towel was pulled over the top as I showed you before, um, next thing I know, I, I come back in after preparing all their veg and Dandy is in with the girls, like what, basically Tea Cake was then having a freak out, she was full on attacking Roxy and Oreo, so I had no other choice other than to take the partition out and take Tea Cake out for a little while, 
she's just in this hay crate for now just until I saw what I'm doing I'm probably gonna put her in a split cage by herself next to the others there's it's a lot of noise to be honest more than actual physical fighting um, they're doing really well to be fair but it's just like obviously all the noise is upsetting these two um, tea cake's just been asleep in the hay crate so yeah like I say I'm gonna put her in a split cage now and you know just hope that they'll settle down for the night which they I know they will do so you know I will update you in the morning let you know how they're getting on so it's about nine o'clock in the morning and things have calmed down a lot I've just given them their fresh veg for the morning and the boys are loads calmer as well which is so nice to see I was worried about them too but they're doing better this morning and tea cakes in this split cage I realized the reason why Probably she had flipped out on everyone is I reckon when Dandy jumped over he landed on her because she has got a slightly blue tinge to her eye which means there's a slight injury so that explains everything now perhaps he landed on her and just freaked her out completely so I'm sure she'll come round when she suddenly realise <clears throat> that she's no longer you know needs to be afraid of anything and it's as simple as that really. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened, especially due, due to her eye injury, it just all makes sense. So we'll see how it goes. And they're just really enjoying the veg right now. Roxy's come to join the others. Oreo's a bit more shy, but you know, it's good to see them, you know, near each other. So hopefully they'll be alright. <laughs> 